you read the title, you know what we're doing, so let's get started. We've, uh, Pride More Keep here, Lair of King Knight. Now, see, I like what they do here. You have the option of going to King Knight here or to Spectre Knight down here. But you're probably going to go to King Knight here, just because he is, in fact, the closest. Which is what you are indeed meant to do, as his stage is the easiest. So there, there's some subtle game design for you, that, uh, and this is one of the stages you can go backwards in for some reason. <laughs> and I can also destroy this giant wall! And reveal the Yacht Club logo. <laughs> I had to look up where this uh, music sheet was, because... Uh, you don't think you go backwards. <laughs> Like, what is this, Donkey Kong Country 2 or something, where you have to go backwards and why did that take so long? Just get a nice golden fish of 350 gold? Or coins, or actually gold. Yeah, it is gold, it says right up there, gold. Although, how does one... There must be like some kind of bank or something, or like instant transfer, so you can ch exchange your jewels for uh, gold currencies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like the only thing that's gold is nothing. In fact, there are no gold drops. Everything is gem things. <laughs> Funny like that. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, before I completely forget to mention this, like I said at the end of the last episode, let me mention my first impressions for this game. Uh, so basically, the first time I even heard about this game, oh damn, I got hit by that, <laughs> was um when Pro... Jar no, not not Pro Jar. Uh, the Completionist, yeah, the Completionist. He uh, did a video on it, and um, even though I could kind of see, oh yeah, by his gameplay, it's a good game. Like the fact that he was like orging over the game, like actually pissed me off. Like it's like he was being promoted or some shit. Like he was orging over it that much, and like I'm just like, man, pff, this is like the best game ever. No, I don't think so. So I just didn't play it because. Spite, I guess, because I don't agree with this completionist guy, even though I've never played the game. Uh, but yeah, I always knew it was probably pretty good. He was just kind of over-exaggerating, which I still kind of think he is. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen that video, but man, from if my memory serves correctly, he was like, making it seem like it was the best thing ever. So now I can destroy the checkpoints and get like a really minuscule amount of money from it. I don't know if we'll be destroying all the checkpoints because, like, I can kill them all now because there's like zero percent chance of me dying because this level's so easy. In before I die because I just said that. Or can I anti-jinx myself by saying that I will do that, which means I w that won't happen because I said that it will happen. See what I mean there? <laughs> oh, is there something up? Looks like something could be up there, huh? If I smash the wall open here, nah. <laughs> Probably not. No, my red gem's disappearing. Oh, I disappeared. Darn it! Whoa. Come on. Use you, boing. <laughs> yeah, when you're playing as Plague Knight, like, he can jump, like, he can just jump up there, like, he has no problem. They didn't really change any of the stage design for Plague Knight, so, oh, you guess, I guess you guys will see when I, uh, get up to him. That's why I like speedrunning as him, because he can just, like, <laughs> go through the stages so quickly, because he has, like, a triple jump sort of thing, quadruple jump. He's like Ellis from, uh, Ellis in Wonderland, The Return, I, forget, I actually forget that name subtitle. <laughs> Boing. All right, let's see. Don't fall down the hole. It's instant death. You know, like, like the Mario Brothers, <laughs> and like every other 2D side scroller ever, except um, Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, the first Toy Story game on Super Nintendo or whatever. If you fall in a hole, you just like jump out and get like hurt. It's like the hole is like an enemy or something. So instead of just getting a reward, this idiot jumps out, and we have to buy it from him, which isn't. Like, uh, like I've been saying, isn't really a big deal because, uh, money isn't very hard to get in this game. <laughs> so we just got the flame one, so I, I have something that's not the fishing rod now. Ooh, yeah, back we go, okay. This is okay, I don't really use too many, like, of the relics and shit with Shovel Knight. I usually just, you know, use his shovel because, you know, that is, that is his namesake after all. Sort of looks like I could break that too, you see, like, the separation. Now this room is all confusing. Can I go to the right? No, why not just have a fucking wall there? <laughs> you know? Like, duh. Is this a chicken? Oh, it's an apple. <laughs> I thought it might be a bomb. Yeah, New Game Plus, everywhere food would be their bomb. So it's like, oh, food? Nah, it's a bomb. Just kidding. <laughs> like, the game trolled me, man. Oh, I better be careful here. If I actually kill too much of this, I can't get up here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Let's just kill this one. I don't think there's anything hidden here, so there's no real reason to kill all the blocks. 
Kill the blocks. You die, blocks. Oh, no. I'm trapped. No. Or I can just, you know, shovel reflect. Uh, reflection. Oh, actually, but it would be cool if it actually went back to hit him. But no, it wants to go to, like, the roof. And double hit. What is this? Is some treasure? Yeah. Big 200. <laughs> it's like, the little things aren't worth much. It's just that 200. It's like, he just chucks him out of the chest. Like, I don't care about these. Where's that? Where's that pink gem? I want it. Where is it? <laughs> well, there's probably one in that checkpoint if you want to go fish it out. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Now there's like, yeah, there's stuff behind these drapes too. Five, five. I mean, is it really worth jumping just to get five? Five is such a minuscule amount. Uh, uh, there we go. So if I go close enough to this guy, yeah, he'll stop doing the flame attack and he'll start like swiping at me, which is way easier to avoid. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, bang, bang. There we go. <laughs> Now, a lot of um, enemies in this game sort of are trial and error. Like, I only know how to fight that guy so good because, you know, I've fought him a lot of times, but I suppose. There are a lot of games like that. And a lot of Mega Man is trial and error, so, you know, uh... <laughs> again, it's just, uh... Doing what the other stuff did. I think this secret I'm go I've am i gone in here is kind of redundant. I think all you get from going this way is treasure. Uh-oh, I better kill these guys before they shoot me again. Eh, or I can just jump over it. <laughs> That's a good plan. Jump over it. <laughs> oh, you just walk over it. <laughs> Ah, uh, just red. Yeah, and it's like, you gotta go through here, because downwards, there's a wall. And more stuff. Alright, you die, please. I sort of like jump shoveling, because if you shovel on the ground, you're like stuck in place, but if you jump shovel, you know, you can keep moving and attack at the same time. It's like, ha 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 ha. It's like I've got some kind of lance or something. Probably would have made more sense for him to have some kind of lance. Ooh, almost got hit by that. But I guess a shovel's pretty cool, too. And if it was a lance, then it wouldn't make sense to jump off of enemies, but then again, a shovel doesn't really make much sense either. I mean, it only really makes sense if it was a spring, right? Because, like, a spring would jump off the enemy? I suppose it depends on how you hit it. Oh, jump! Ah, oh, you suckers. Oh, shit, but now I can't get up here. No! <laughs> Crawling in my suit of armor. These wounds, they wa will not heal. I missed a couple bits of treasure. Oh no. <laughs> the world is ending. Much like this guy's life. Those guys remind me of the uh, Dark Nuts from Zelda 2, except they're... Uh, Dark Nuts are probably a bit more annoying to fight because they're all like... Annoying. Because <laughs> they can just like move their shields instantly like they're some kind of friggin wizard or something. I feel like I've missed... <laughs> that's that's always how it works with this game. I feel like I've missed something. There's so many bloody secrets that, um... You know, you always feel like you've missed a uh, page or something. <laughs> I don't think I have, though. I've been pretty aware of my surroundings, says Batman. Uh, Alright, what we got here? Books. Yeah, so this part's awesome with Plague Knight. I'm, all I'm going to be doing while playing a Shovel Knight is like rambling on about how awesome Plague Knight is, is it? Alright, yeah, we can switch switch items with the R triggers. So I switch back to my fishing rod to play some fishing. Just like Pokemon, you see the exclamation mark, you press the um, the button. <laughs> but, ah, uh, see, that that's why Shovel Knight sucks, because Plague Knight doesn't get those. <laughs> You fish up like those guys, and then they're like, I'll fill up your chalice. Oh wait, your chalice is already full, because I didn't free and use them, because why the, why the hell would I use that crap anyway? <laughs> Better be quick here, don't want to fall to my death. Unlike those rats, which are like, invincible. Oh shit. <laughs> hmm, oh. I shouldn't worry too much about getting hit, especially since there's like, turkey. At least the turkey is in a dining plate thing, and not in a wall, like in like, Castlevania or something wall turkey and all that. Slash me. Slash, 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 slash. These griffins are too powerful. They take too many hits. You can't, yeah, you can't actually get, like, a stronger shovel. Like, you can get different shovels with, that have different, like, abilities. Oh, actually, no, you just upgrade your current shovel. Alright, here we are. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, Nave. I am no more an interloper than you. You aren't even a real king. <laughs> Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me from my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me, except no one. You're not but a d decadent dandy. <laughs> Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. 
Silence, which you sure will because you're such an easy boss. He jumps. And now he jumps. And what, he's gonna jump again? Oh, what? He jumped different that time. Oh, that's different. Jump. Jump. Oh, now he's doing some slash thing. Oh, here comes the jumping. Back to jumping. Yeah. And we get confetti for our win. <laughs> uh, I suppose the goal is to kill him before he does that because it's actually kind of like Leaf Woodman in there from Mega Man 2. All those can hurt you. But no, I'm doing my victory pose. Haha, <laughs> I'm immune to you. I get damaged by confetti. And it's not even like electric confetti or poison confetti. It's just confetti. Shovel Man's armor does him no justice. <laughs> no shovelry justice. Uh, so yeah, when you're um, doing this whole sleeping crap, when it's not like... What, you, <laughs> you only get to do the whole dream sequence thing when you complete a segment. So after we do Spectre Knights, we'll be able to do the dream thing again. Now how long did that take us? A decent amount of time. See, it's like we sort of have enough time to do another level thing, but we sort of don't. And I guess I'm doing this now. Not that, not that this is very long. Gotta be pretty sad if I died during this thing. Because <laughs> there's just so many holes. You know, it's just so easy to fall down a hole, especially when this game has a lot of knockback. Although in this game, you can actually get an armor later on. Go on, fall off the edge. That uh, stops you from getting knocked back. Well, mostly. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Take that. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, you just fall off. Or, or die. Either one works. Or oh, is that it? Wow, that was awesome. I suppose I got a bit of money from that. Oh, well, speaking of money, I guess instead of, you know, while we're waiting for it to waste the rest of the time of this episode, we can go, like, spend some. So I have six, so I get 3,000 for that. And, yeah, you've got new music. You say that every time. What's this person smiling about? <laughs> Pretty face. Wow, you're such a useful NPC, you know? Alright, well, uh, can I get... I suppose I'll get some magic since we actually do have some stuff... Magic isn't too... Like, the first one, the first two are cheap, but after this it gets, like, kind of expensive, I think. No, not yet. Maybe I should buy something else instead of just this. <laughs> nah, this is all I need. And I do not have enough for another one of these. No, I do not. I think there's only, like, two more I can buy from him, though. The rest you have to get from, uh, just playing the game. Now, can I do something down here? No, I have to just feed Spectre Knight to, for her to do her dance and get another of the music scrolls. Huh. <laughs> There's really not too much to do in the village, eh? You just like, get some magic, whoop de doo I'm done. Can't really buy anything else. Oh, I might I might have enough for that other thing that, uh... What's his name? Chuckles? Nah, sorry. <laughs> I, for, I forget. The guy who sells you shit, that green orb. The guy who got the fishing rod off. But that green orb sucks, so I can't be bothered. Alright, I think I've wasted enough time. <laughs> Probably not, this is kind of a short episode, um, the levels aren't too long, so maybe I can squeeze in, like, because we'll do this level, and we'll do that whole gem level thing there next time, probably, because those are a bit longer than that enemy guy I killed. Our time is going to be terrible for this, by the way, like, our, um, finish time. Like, me just sitting here right now is wasting time. Me sitting on the pause menu here is wasting time, it counts all of it. <laughs> it should have taken a page from Metroid, man, not even the door transitions count as time in Metroid. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching uh, this episode of Guy Walks About from town to town killing people. <laughs> and I'll see you next time for the Lich Yard, a also a fairly easy level. And again, these are the first two levels, so they should be fairly easy. It does kind of get hard later, though, especially in those challenge things that are on the main menu. Anyway, enough rambling. I'll see you next time.